सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल सो गाइस टूडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू एंड अमेजिंग सी जी एंड वी एफ एक्स एडवर्टाइजिंग एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग ब्लैंडर एंड आफ्टर इफेक्ट सी गाइज दैट्स माई रियली कूल इफेक्ट सो गाइज आई शो यू माई टैक्स या दैट्स माई बॉक्सेस एंड शू मॉडल सो गाइज क्लिक ऑन हेयर दैट्स माई फाइन ब्रांडर प्रिव्यू या ग्रेट राइट ओके सो गाइज ने आओ आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ एनिमेशन Guys, for tracking, I'm using After Effect. Yeah, right. Okay, so guys, stop. So guys, go to an here file, and I create new project, new project check, and now guys, go to an After Effect. See guys, that's my motion tracking, right? That's my simple tracking. Okay, so guys, same file, and I create new project. So guys, click on here and select your clip and import. Guys, you can download this clip link in description. and track camera check okay so guys my tracking is finished and now guys select only three points like this and right click set ground and paint origin check and right click create solid and camera check yes so guys go to an preview and play yeah see guys that's my simple tracking okay so guys now import tracking data in blender so guys go to on here track so guys transform select top four position and copy so guys blender So guys, select all and press delete key. So now, guys, I'm using A to blend add-on, and next one, guys, you can use JSON script. So guys, create plane check, and guys, import camera. So guys, transform top to position and orientation, and guys, create camera check. Yes, see guys, that's my camera, and guys, starting from one second, like this, one second. and guys lastly import this focal length so focal length copy and go to on here so guys select your camera and camera check guys focal length paste yes so guys go to on here and background image so import same clip like this and import and press zero yes right okay so guys now i change opacity opacity 100% check and guys i change render setting so render setting cycle render device gpu check and change max amp max amp to 5 is good for me so go to on film and transparent so guys go to on color management i like standard yes so guys now next one frame rate i use same frame rate 29.97 fps yes okay so guys next one i change frames so guys select this camera and guys go to on here last frame rate like a i take 395 is good yes so guys next one play yeah see guys that's my tracking data so guys now i create composition so guys select your plane and increase size so guys scale size increase so move change like this and guys i change position good right See guys, that's my plane. And guys, now click on here. Guys, I create new collection. So press zero. So guys, click on here. Guys, I track this one. That's my circle. So for circle, I like this time cylinder and change radius and segments. So guys, see that's my vertex. Vertex like a two fifty is good. And radius like a twelve increase. And guys, height. change like a one yes good okay so guys press zero and guys now okay so guys little bit change position so guys select the cylinder and guys see that's my x location change like a minus 0.5 yes that's my parallel right so guys press zero and guys click on here so alignment on here this one That's my circle. So like this. So guys, I increase size, scale size increase. Go to on here like this, and guys, yeah, good. See guys, that's my rough layout. So little bit change, little bit. Yes, and little bit more, little bit. So little bit more. Yes, good. See guys, that's my simple cylinder. and apply to this shape okay so now guys click on here and guys position this one guys is 
overlapping so guys select this one and little bit change okay so guys see that's my plane yes so guys click on here wireframe select this one shape and guys little bit down yes good right see guys that's my work okay so guys next one i create boolean so guys select this one plane select plane and i apply boolean effect boolean check and guys see that's my object so guys object alex cylinder so guys you can hide this cylinder okay so guys select this one cylinder and little bit up and see guys that's my work shape right so guys select this plane and boolean apply check yeah good so guys again select this cylinder and change position and guys see guys that's my position change press this one and down like this one yes good right okay so guys press zero for camera and click on here yes and guys now this time i create whole effect whole so guys select this plane and edit mode so guys select edge press 7 that's my top view so select this edge what edge guys select this one shape only this circle shape and guys now this time press e elephant and press g gun enter and go to down like this see guys i create shape like this right okay so guys now all is good again go to one edit mode so guys select this shape that's my only front face top flow and guys right click use separate at separate selection check yes see guys that's my two part that's my shape cylinder and that's my flow right i show you see guys that's my two shape right okay so guys now select the shape inner side and i create black material black check and guys select this one flow and i apply this time this one shadow catcher check yeah that's it guys okay so guys now select the cylinder this one and guys i apply same black material so black material check yes see guys that's my materials and guys now i change front material also so guys i create new add material slot check and new so guys go to on edit mode select this only front face guys select only front face and guys select this one white material and assign check yes so guys little bit change this material alpha alpha i like 0.8 yeah and go to on transmission and weight i like 0.6 enter yes and press 0 so guys click on here yeah okay so guys now next one i apply hdr image for lighting so guys go to our open guys apply hdr image like this yes good see guys that's my simple composition right and guys now next one i create rotation animation so guys go to like a 40 frame and guys rotation like this i create rotation like this right so guys zero and check on 40 frame so guys go to like a 100 and guys go to on here minus 180 enter and check yeah so guys go to back and click on here okay so guys play yes see guys that's my simple animation right that's my vfx effect okay so guys all is good and now next one guys i apply any model so guys i like shoe model like a, a pen guys i have shoe model select guys i already download from sketchpad so guys select this nike shoe model and increase size like this little bit more yeah and guys now okay so guys go to on here a little bit smaller yes good so guys go to a mid yes great okay so guys now this time press 1 and guys 
click on here guys rotate so rotate like this 180 degree and go to an attach on this cylinder this one see guys that's my cylinder and guys let's put more up yes good okay so guys now next one i apply this time parent in fact so guys select this shape this one that's my shoe and guys select this one that's my cylinder and press ctrl p and object team transform check so guys go to unpack and play yes yeah great see guys that's my animation so guys again i show you one more time yeah right press zero and click on here so guys go to back and play see guys that's my really simple animation right okay so guys now next one i apply boxes animation box so guys i create new collection and go to one file append so go to one back here see guys that's my nike box model select this box and up so guys click on here so guys little bit increase scale size little bit yes good okay so guys now i apply more bunch of model so guys click on here and i apply array array check and increase count like this and factor increase like this like a 2 is good factor 2 okay little bit change like a 0. Point, like a 1.6 and guys click on again array so guys i change factor like a y like a 1.6 1.6 and count increase like a 4 go to unpack yes and increase height so guys out of frame little bit up yes okay so guys again i like array and guys i increase count like a 15 and that one increase like this yeah good see guys that's my boxes okay so guys all is good and apply apply and apply yeah and guys now i create individually so go to an edit mode so press a selection all and press p and lose part check yes right and now guys i change center axis so go to an object and i apply origin to geometry check yes right okay so guys all is good and now guys this time i create rigid body effect so guys go to on like a shoe model so guys firstly select the shoe model because i create parenting so click on here and rigid body check so guys passive and animation check so guys i like mesh and guys now select this one that's my cylinder and rigid body and i apply same passive and animation check and mesh check yes that's it guys okay so guys select this flow this one and go to on here rigid body so guys passive guys don't click animation and shape check so surface this one friction i like one so guys select this one and friction i like one cylinder friction i like one and that's my plane flow friction one so guys now select this first box this one that's my first box model so i apply same rigid body and type i like active so shape i like a uh, box because that's my box and guys friction one yes so now guys select all and go to an object and go to on here copy from active check yes so now next one guys play yes good see guys that's my animation right okay so guys now next one so guys little bit change the rotation so guys select all boxes so go to on randomize and guys rotation change randomly like this yeah good yes great see guys that's my random rotation boxes okay so guys go to on here and i change rigid body so rigid body word check so see guys that's my frame frame same frame rate like a 395 
enter and guys now i change simulation animation like a 120 actually like a 110 yes and bake all dynamic check see guys that's my baking okay so guys my baking is finished and now press zero so guys play okay after 110 frame guys it's falling yes great see guys that's my simple animation right it's looking really beautiful okay so guys now i also create rotation animation so bake delete check and guys now select this shoe model and guys like a four actually like a 240 frame and guys i create rotation so rotation change x1 yeah so rotation check like a 340 frame and rotation change like this and check yes so guys go to pack and play okay so guys again bake and bake all dynamic check okay so guys my baking is finished and again go to back and play yeah that's my first effect and after that guys i create rotation effect rotation yes great amazing work so guys press zero and again play yes okay so guys my work is finished that's my final work animation right and guys now i show you my render setting so guys go to on render and render image check okay so guys my one frame render is finished so close and now guys go to on compositing and use node check so guys now shift a and apply viewer and again shift a and i'll forward check so guys select this render layer connect to second one and shift a and movie clip so guys connect to first one and i apply same movie clip so guys go to on here select and import so guys alpha work connect to viewer yes so press v see guys that's my composition and guys go to on here again layout yes so guys i show you again one frame render to so render and render in which check yeah so guys my work is finished see guys that's my beautiful composition right my render is looking really realistic and beautiful okay so guys my work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel and guys you can download this project file from my website free thank you